Bush Camping Tools here where I thought I'd just do a quick talk about uh, these fuel gauges on the Citizen Eco Drive. Now, if you're an owner of a Citizen Aqualan and some other models, the Aqualan models definitely feature uh, this battery gauge, if you like. Some people refer to it as a fuel gauge. And it shows, has an indication on there of uh, the battery, the approximate battery status of the watch. Uh, how much charge is remaining on the watch and where this needle points to according to uh, in the book will tell you uh, how much life you've got. So as you can see in the manual here for this particular Aqualand it says uh, 340 to 300 days left if the needle is above this top mark here somewhere around halfway. Here, if the needle is about uh, reading halfway in this arc of sorts, it's 300 to 200 days. If it's right down here below the one, two, below the second mark, about halfway between the second mark and the third mark, it's going to be about 200 to four days. And on the E sign, it's, it's basically empty. It's ready to stop four days or shorter. So according to the manual here, this particular Aqualand requires about four and a half hours of full sun, that's a hundred lux worth of sun for four and a half hours. And that should take you all the way from one of these marks to the top, but it doesn't. Why doesn't it do that? You would expect that this is uh, four months, uh, the next four months, and the final four months to make the entire year. Well, it doesn't work like that because this is actually, uh, if this was here, as it says, this would be 300 days to 340 days worth in here. So this is really d almost divided into a year in here. And if you're leaving your watch in the sun, in the full sun, and you're wondering why this needle is not pointing there after about four and a half hours, is because this has to be divided. You can't exactly divide this, uh, you know, evenly into a year's worth of, uh, of movement here. And the main thing too is to recognize is not the marks, but the orange, you see these orange speckles on the arc here, this orange coloration. Well, the orange coloration is in a non-linear way, and that's because the charging of these uh, lithium, manganese, titanium batteries is a, it's a non-linear uh, charging profile. So this thing is not gonna move in a linear way up through here. And, but what is displayed in a non-linear fashion is the orange marking. So that's what you should really be paying attention to. So there's really nothing to worry about if you think, well, you, you can't really say from uh, where the needle is exactly how many hours is required to send it back to this position here from um, a partway charge. Anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd um, clear that up for any uh, Citizen Aqualand owners that, or any other watches that feature these things because you have to remember the charging profile, it is not a linear charging profile for the types of batteries that are used in these watches. Okay, Bush Camping Tools here. Thanks for watching.